Good evening, everyone. Surely I need no introduction by now, but if you are new here, I am known by many nicknames. Dr. Deep Voice, Mr. Nyquil, but I am mostly addressed as Paranormal Poet. I will be your narrator tonight, and for the spirit of Halloween, I will treat you to some scary story classics that I grew up with. So cozy on up, whether in bed or on your couch. Listen to the fire crackle and prepare for a relaxing night as we hear two fictional spooky stories. Story one. Have you ever heard of the legend of Bloody Mary? Most of you already know the story, but what if I told you there was an experience with a group of friends that ended up with a falling out? Well, this story begins in 2012, when some teenagers at a local school of mine went to a Halloween party. It was just going to be a fun social gathering at a neighborhood house. They all were acquainted, so naturally they were invited. At first, the friends were conversing amongst each other. Then, someone in the group had a peculiar question. Do you think Bloody Mary is real? He asked. Everyone around him snarked and said, Oh, only gullible people will believe that. However, one person wasn't so amused by that question. A boy by the name of Anthony spoke and said, She's undeniably real. The time I played, she tormented me in my sleep. I've had nightmares ever since. I'm telling you, she is real. The group of four decided why not, for Halloween this year, go to the bathroom just to see if it was true and have some fun with it. They all gathered their phones and headed to the bathroom on the second floor. At this time, the moon had begun shining bright, and the bright cheer of little kids yelling trick-or-treat rang through the streets. All four boys lined up side by side, turned off the lights, leaving them in pitch black darkness. They then chanted Bloody Mary three times. As the boys sat in silence, Anthony couldn't help but feel the weight of anxiety hit his chest. Then, the remainder of dim light shining through the bathroom was blocked out by a shadow. A shadow of a tall woman. What's worse, Anthony saw a female hand reach out and physically touch the shoulder of another boy. He reacted as anyone would, and as they all ran out of the bathroom, screaming, the one who was touched on the shoulder would accuse Anthony of trying to scare him, to which he would of course defend his innocence. But the boy was insistent it was him, to which a rift would be formed between the two. The group was never the same that Halloween night. This next story starts with a young, vibrant couple. Both of them travel down Lover's Lane to a lovely private spot where just the two could express their love how they knew they could. The young man's name was James and his high school sweetheart, Lily. They were leisurely driving and conversing with one another, when suddenly the car began flashing a light he'd never seen. He pulls off on the side of a deserted road with trees all around. Damn it, he exclaims. Turns out they had run out of gas, completely. Now understanding his frustration, Lily proposed a plan that was crazy at first. But when realized it was the only way, he ultimately agreed. The plan was to walk, or in this case run, as fast as he could to the nearest gas station, which luckily wasn't too far away. 
and she would wait. He said if anything happens, the glove box has the spray and the gun. She nods, and off he goes as he disappears in the darkness. It had been an hour, yet still no James. Her body told her it was time to rest, though she resisted. The tiredness won, so she locked the doors and fell asleep in the passenger seat. Upon waking up, she hears the sound of liquid hitting the hood of the car. She figured it rained and the tree above was dripping water. Suddenly, a flashlight shined in her face. It was a cop. Relieved she'd at least get out of there, she got her belongings and opened the car door. When the cop put her hand around her and said, don't look up, there was a reason for that. Turns out, James had been brutally killed in a horrifying display was draped over the tree branch that was over the car. Hence the drip, drip, drip. The murder weapon was later found out to be a discarded farmer's sickle blade that was found nearby. Even more disturbing, across 20 similar encounters, 18 proved to have a connection meaning whoever this was, this sadistic and evil monster, had to have been a serial killer. From then on, people are now weary of the lover's lane as to avoid getting the hook. Hopefully those stories got you in the frightful mood. If this scared you, Comment down below the scary stories that you grew up with. I'm genuinely curious. Enough of my talking. Enjoy the fire for the rest of the night. Good night, poets.